back to my channel and welcome back to my Inktober speed paint. So this was from day four and the theme was ears. If you haven't watched my other Inktober videos yet, I am doing my own drawing prompt for this year, which I titled Beautiful Creatures. And the drawing prompts for each day of Inktober is like very vague character traits of like monster girls and mythological type girls that I'll be drawing throughout the month. So for ears, originally I was thinking of doing an elf girl, but while I was drawing this one, I just really loved the expression and I don't know, she just looked like she needed some horns. So it turned into more of a demon girl and I just, I really love how this one came out, but I also felt kind of bad that the ear wasn't a super big focus. So I ended up adding a lot more jewelry to the ear to just bring more attention to it. Um, I felt kind of bad that there wasn't two ears in the drawing, but... I think it still kind of works. I think it's really beautiful and I'm really happy with how it turned out anyway. Um, after I drew this a few days later, I saw some other artists drawing really cute characters with really, really big ears. And I kind of wish I'd done something like that, but there's always a chance in the future. And I still really love how this one came out. If you notice a lot of like problems with the video, like the picture keeps going out of center and the lighting's not that great, just please excuse it for a while. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I have recently moved my art desk into another room and I'm trying to get used to a much bigger um, area for recording and the lighting issue is being looked at. Uh, it's already fixed at the point that I'm recording this audio. Um, but at the time I was drawing this, we still hadn't gotten the light installed yet. So yeah, bear with me for any quality problems with the videos for a while. I'm going to slowly get used to it and do a bit better. I'm still kind of messing up though. I mean, I've been drawing every day for the last 12 days and I still sometimes forget where the camera is pointing and I end up moving the picture over, which is kind of funny because last time my space was just so tight and so small, I had no ability to move at all. <laughs> but now it's like, it just feels huge to me. So yeah, bear with me during this time, but it will slowly get better. So with this drawing, I was actually doing a kind of a marathon night and I was doing quite a few inkings and washes on the same day. Um, and I was trying to save time by doing ink washes because the ink wash just moves so much faster the first day that I did it. But for some reason with this drawing, it wasn't faster at all. It just took forever. And the camera actually stopped recording because the battery had died and I lost so much of the first process. So I really, really sad about that, but at least I didn't lose the whole video. I got really frustrated though with the ink wash because Although it worked out really, really well the first time, um, I don't know if it was just the way I did things or if it was the paper I'm using, because I am using a different paper here, but uh, it just didn't go as well this time. Like the, no matter how many layers of ink wash I put down, I just couldn't seem to get a darker tone to the horns or to like shaded areas of the hair. I got so frustrated by it that I had to kind of walk away from it. And the next day I came back and I went over all of the ink areas with black watercolor and I finally was able to get the tones I was expecting. So luckily that worked out and I was a lot happier with the end result. So after that, I actually, the next few drawings, I actually used black watercolor instead of um, ink wash for the coloring because it just, it went so much easier with the black watercolor. It's just so much faster for me and it kind of behaves the same way. It's just that my Black Schmincke watercolor is much more pigmented than the Dr. Peach Martin's ink that I was using. And in the in the ink's defense, I am using a gray wash because when I try to use the black Bombay ink directly from the tube, it's too dark and it doesn't flow at all. So yeah, uh, one day I'll figure that out. It's probably totally me that's the problem, <laughs> but uh, for now, I need to move a little bit quicker so the watercolor is a much better solution. I also added pops of red because I really like the look and I think it really suited this drawing well. So the only other thing I regret with this drawing is I tried to rescue the horns by adding a layer of white gouache, but in the end I started to rub the white gouache back off because I felt like the line of white was a little too harsh. 
And I kind of wish I hadn't put the white gouache at all and I had just softened the highlight with some gray color pencil and it would have looked so much better. But overall, I still really like this drawing and I hope you guys do too. If you did, then definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below or giving this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post art related videos every week and during Inktober, I'm trying to post more often as well. If you'd like to see this drawing up close, then definitely check out my DeviantArt where I'll be posting a scan of this drawing. And if you would like to buy a print of this drawing for a limited time, you can check out my Redbubble shop where I'll be having prints of my Inktobers up until November. So yeah, the links are in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit.